Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kumar, your host on Intellect Digest, and we are back with the second generation Motorola Moto G. We come back with the answers to your follow-up questions. You have left a lot of questions in the comment sections below the videos as well as articles that we have done on the Moto G. In this video, I'm going to answer 11 frequently asked questions about the Motorola Moto G, which will include the heating problem, USB OTG support, moving apps to SD card. I'll also talk about how good are the front speakers, how good is the battery performance. I'll also talk about the GPU, how well it performs at gaming. Does it have LED notification? Does it support 4G LTE? Or the frontal speakers are really good or not? So let's get started. We got a question about the battery life on the Moto G, and I'm going to tell you about the battery performance. Here you can see the battery graph. This phone has been idling for around one day and two hours. I have one SIM inside it, and you can see that the battery has drained only 12%. I have not charged this phone in last one full day. It has been on and off used only in the screen mode. I have turned off the data network, but the Wi-Fi was on all the time. So, in terms of battery performance, I think it is pretty efficient. It, it's a power sipper. If you use it moderately, it should easily last for one day. If you use it on standby. it will go on for days and days but since it's a smartphone comes with a 5 inch display you will be using it a lot more often compared to what i have been using it so i think it will easily last for one full day if you use it properly in a moderate manner we got a question about heating problems with the new motorola moto g second generation and i must tell you from my experience that it does not get heated up as much because i don't feel anything getting warm or heated up here even when playing heavy games like the asphalt 8 airborne which i am playing here right now so this phone is pretty efficient when it comes to using power as well as heat dissipation levels are very well controlled with the snapdragon 400 chipset that it uses so when it comes to heating problem i have not experienced any We got a question can we move apps to SD card on the new Motorola Moto G second generation and let me give you the answer by showing you whether it allows or not so we go to apps i go to this heavy application which is asphalt and it is taking up a lot of space and there is a button provided which says move to SD card let me hit this button it says moving while it may not move entire suite of application or all applications because some applications are not supported to be moved to external sd card but yes you can move some of the applications to sd card and save some space so the new motorola moto g does support moving application to sd cards we got a question whether the new motorola moto g supports usb otg drives or usb otg cable or not we have tested both this is the usb otg cable and this is a usb otg pen drive and it does support so let me plug it in here and you will see the light come on on this pen drive and it is reading the pen drive however it does not come with inbuilt file manager so you will have to install a third party app something like uh, uh, the es file explorer and it may crash sometimes i have experienced this but it does work so you can just go to the file explorer go to the usb disk and here you can access the content which is stored on this hybrid drive or this usb otg pen drive so these folders that you see here are actually stored on to this pen drive and i can open the files which are stored on this pen drive directly using this usb otg connection which is provided you can connect usb otg mouse wireless mouse and cables and any other standard pen drive using a usb otg cable onto the new generation second generation motorola moto g 2014 and one more small tip is after you are done using the usb otg drive just go into storage setting there is an option which says unmount usb on the go storage just hit on it before you remove the pen drive because otherwise it may cause applications to crash We received a question on how much user available storage is available on the new Motorola Moto G. Although we have installed a lot of applications on the new Motorola Moto G after we have received it, it will show you that there is a total storage of 12.9 GB. 
GB which is available so it has 16 GB internal storage out of which 12.9 is available we have installed some applications and games and right now 9.4 GB is available but if it is a brand new phone right out of the box you can expect around 12.5 to 12.9 GB available you can also add a micro SD card to it we have added a micro SD card and you get additional storage and you can already move your applications as well as media to the SD card so you can make some more space on the internal memory so you can just hit here move media and you can move all your existing media on the internal memory to the external micro SD storage card We received a question on whether the new second generation Motorola Moto G come with an LED notification or not. Yes, it does come with an LED notification and it is right here near the front facing camera and the earpiece on the new Motorola Moto G. You can enable or disable it under the settings. We got a question whether the new Motorola Moto G will support update to the next Android version. So the next major Android version update will be the Android L and as we know Motorola gives you latest software updates the fastest after the Nexus devices. So yes you can expect the update to the next Android version and it has been promised by Motorola that it will get the next major update which will be the Android L or it may be renamed later. We got a question about the graphics performance of the new Motorola Moto G. How well the graphics do and what is the graphics hardware? This phone comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor and gives you an Adreno series GPU and the GPU that it uses is Adreno 305 as you can see here. It fares pretty well when it comes to graphics and the scores on graphics benchmarks is also very good. So in terms of graphics, it does not disappoint us. We have done a separate gaming review with Frontline Commando 2 and Asphalt 8 Airborne. So do check out our gaming video for detailed graphics performance as well as benchmarks. Next question is, can we record high definition or full high definition videos on the new Motorola Moto G? And the answer is it supports high definition videos but not full high definition. So you can do high definition 720p or 720p slow motion but you cannot go full high definition with the rear 8 megapixel camera which is provided here. So the software does not allow you to go beyond 720p. So this is a slight disappointment if you are looking forward to record full high definition videos with this camera. We got a question whether the new Moto G second generation offers LTE or 4G. So the answer is it may or may not offer 4G depending on which market you buy it from. In some countries it supports only up to 3G or HSDPA. The version that we are testing is an Indian retail unit and comes only with up to 3G or HSDPA support. However, some European countries and US countries will get the phone with 4G LTE support inbuilt. So it will depend on which market you buy it from. It's better you check the specifications on the manufacturer website for the country where you are buying your Moto G from. We got a question on the performance of the dual frontal speaker. Are these just a marketing gimmick or are they really good? So the Moto G unlike the previous generation does not have a speaker grill at the rear it is totally flat but both the speaker grills are at the front there is a speaker grill right here and one down here so you have two front speakers which will give you true stereo effect and they are fairly loud just to give you the answer to this question i'll put the volume to maximum and play a soundtrack for you to decide how loud and clear it is In my opinion, it provides really good performance when it comes to audio quality. The dual frontal speakers do impress me. This is all we have on the first part of the Motorola Moto G frequently asked question series. If you have any more questions on your mind, if you want to ask us anything about the new Motorola Moto G second generation, please do not hesitate. Leave your comments in the comment section below this video and we'll come up with a follow up video answering your questions. 
if this video answered your questions make sure you press the like button below this video and share this video with your friends and family on facebook twitter google plus and other social networks please subscribe to our channel if you want to see our future videos this is your host rohit khurana signing off thanks for watching